see every day how much people are suffering for the behavior of other people. And the first reaction, of course, is always the emotional and the interior one. But my second reaction is, I need to prove it. Back in 2005, I met a Guatemalan lady in a conference. She was talking about mining pollution in her country. She has a very emotional and powerful speech, but she has no data. I approached her and I asked why she has no data, and she told me that the scientific world doesn't want to work with them. At that point, I just graduated in environmental science. I proposed myself to help them. Two months later, I have a one-way ticket to Guatemala. I was working to get data about mining and oil extraction pollution. After years of struggling, once they had data, they were able to access the Inter-American Court of Human Rights to rule against a mining company. I realized how important was data for the communities. That's why Source International exists. So here we are in Cerro de Pascua again. I'm very happy to be here because people who need our work, they are here. So in the next few weeks, we're gonna take evidences about mining pollution and human rights abuses, and we're gonna give those evidences to the community that they will use to stand up for their rights. This is one of the most polluted places on earth. There is this gigantic pit in the middle of the town. The mining company is extracting lead and zinc. All the rocks that is taken out, less than one gram for every ton is processed. All the rest is waste. The mining company just throw those waste all around the city. They start to build those mountains of waste and are so close from the houses. There is dust coming out from those wastes and people breathe those dusts. I mean, rain goes down into the groundwater, so any type of food that you grow here is plenty of heavy metals. Lead, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, zinc. This water contains 4.1 milligrams per liter of lead. That is 800 times more than Flint, Michigan. PH 7 is neutral. This one is pH 2. It's like the acid that we use in the batteries. 100% of the population should urgently hospitalize it due to the presence of M metals in their blood. The ratio of cancer is extremely high. Congenital malformation, the heart doesn't work or the lamp does not work. There are a lot of miscarriage. According to all the statistics, Salipasco is one of the poorest places in Peru. Here you have monster giant who produce $60 million revenues every year and they don't share nothing with local people. The mine is based in the British Virgin Island, so we have no idea who is behind the mining company. Basically, thanks to this system, there's nobody responsible to this. The community was saying, hey mine, you are polluting. And the mine said, no, I have my scientific works, I'm not polluting, who are you for telling this? And the community, they are powerless. But right now, the community can call Source International and we arrive, and the community was, can say, hey, mining, you're polluting, and the mine came out. I oh, know, we have a study, and the community can say, we have our study that demonstrated you are polluting. There is a law that say that because here, the situation is so bad, and the environment is so polluted, and the area is so impossible to live, the city should move in another place. <laughs> what people need from us here is evidences that the mining companies destroy their life, violating their rights and polluting the environment. So in fact today we were collecting water samples from the rivers around the town. We also were, were collecting hair of kids in the community of Paragshad, which is one of the most affected by the mine. 
and we will send it to the laboratory in order to know how many metals they have in their body. We will use those data to push the force to become the law. We're gonna go to radio and TV in order to uh, highlight the problem of the city and give to the communities the instrument to get up and stand up for their rights. An ideal world, they don't need my job. But the world is not an ideal world. Someone had to do it. The day that I will die, I will look back at my life and I say, okay, I've done all that I can.